All right, so now I'm working on this screen tight mini track and it's gonna go on here like that. I've made a line down the center so I can put these screws. The screws hold this track into place and I'm pre-drilling everything and I've notched out my trim down the bottom with the oscillating saw. Now I'm gonna put these screws in you can see by this scrap that I've already cut my piece of track to length. So once I get these screws put in, I can knock that track into place and I'm one step closer on this never ending deck job. Give me a thumbs up if you've made it this far. I appreciate you guys. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and knock this into place with the mallet. Make sure I put it on the right direction. That would be way unfortunate. Alright, I'm going to slide this first one into position. And then the rest of them, get them lined up. And that's all there is to that pretty dang cool little product so it's good and tight into position and then I'll put a little bit of foam in behind that and we'll be good to go so for my good friend Brian at Brian's Lois Hills Homestead check out his channel I'm making this second step and I need a 32 and a quarter inch piece of Trex for this second tread here and the biggest piece I have left is friggin' a half inch too short. So I'm gonna have to buy a whole new stick of Trex to put this step on that I wasn't gonna put on anyway, but Brian said I had to. So now I gotta go buy another piece of Trex. All right, so the step is on hold. So I did a test with this piece of scrap trim. You can see those holes to mount a piece of mini rail and then I mounted my mini rail to that piece of trim and mounted that trim to the wall so now this corner's finished and ready for screen other than I gotta bring a piece of mini track right here and then I gotta get a piece of plastic trim that's big enough uh, to put from here over to here that'll carry that piece of mini track so the mini track will be like this and I got to get a piece of trim or something that is able to carry that over all right exciting update we picked up a storm door from depot also got my two inch by two inch screen rails from depot got the first one mounted can see I've got the angle brackets up to hold it at the top I've got the mini track in there now at the bottom what I did was you can see there's a piece of block in there I cut out a piece of my plastic board put that down where it needed to be and screwed that to the deck and so that bottom is nice and secure and there's a really clean look because you can't see any fasteners so now I'm going to get my screen door and install that on this side. So I've got the storm door, which the glass is coming out. We're just using a screen in here, but it came with the glass. So that glass will be for sale, but I wanted to show you, see that white block is what I was talking about. That block will be in there. And then let me show you here with this scrap piece. So the upright will just set right in there like that and it's held into position there and then the two pieces of angle bracket hold the top. Now the door is in place. Everything works as it should. I do have to put the closer on still 
but it looks like I'm gonna have to use a put a little block on here because the closer there's not enough meat on this for the closer and then I still need to put a header up on top of there with a piece of screen track on it I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm putting up there yet we'll see just a quick update so I took off this electric outlet here which is a ground fault interrupter I snaked a wire up there and added an outlet up there off the load side so we could plug in our lights Ooh, what's going on guys John with the Pro Cut back out here on the never-ending deck job and you can see I got my screen track up there that black so I need to do that on the outside edges too so I got myself some leveler jacks for my scaffolding two sets of scaffolding are up here and then I've got them strapped to the deck everything is nice and solid it's gonna be real good to work off of that uh, I may go grab my safety fence uh, just so I have something on the back side of that I know that will make TC happy uh, so then I can go ahead and put my screen track along the top silicone a couple of edges up there to get them good and uh, sealed for bugs and whatnot and then I'll also be able to work on a gutter from there too so I may have to go get me a section of gutter uh, prior to moving the scaffold because I'm going to have to do this seven foot section here and then move it over to do the other seven foot section. All right. So there's what I came up with for that. Took a piece of the trim, 45 it, pocket hole, screwed it into that side. And then this side's just got the mini track holding it into place and then I'll caulk that seam with white silicone. All right, special for my buddy Brian over at Brian's Lois Hills Homestead. The second step is on. Give me a thumbs up for Brian and go check his channel out. So now that these boards are dried out enough, we're staining all these rafters, starting with the one here that we're going to have the screen up next to because I'm ready to screen this portion and that portion over there. So we're getting this stained just like we stained the purlins. Now we're staining all the rafters and the headers to match. And then we still will need to repaint this white because you can see where the uh, caulk from the old header strip some of that paint off of there but yeah you can tell the big difference from the bare to the stain just makes it look a little richer and when you're messing with your wood deck always stain never paint paint's a mistake it's a treat you get to do every year after the first year you make that mistake it's a lifetime commitment of your deck. All right, 